Good morning, everyone. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options and the morning market prep video for Thursday, June 22nd, 2017. Well, doggone. This market pulled back a little bit, filling a gap. I suggested yesterday that that possibility did occur, uh, it did exist. Now, the diamonds. Um, kind of filled that gap and then bounced off of uh, that little tiny support right there. Filled that gap and, and just bounced right off of it. So far, it's continuing to hold its trend. So although we had a pullback, and that pullback was actually fairly light in volume. Okay. And really choppy price action. It was like, well, we need to go down there, but we really don't want to. And it sure wasn't in, in any hurry. To get that done we could be seeing um, the market kind of slipping into its summertime routine where volumes are lighter uh, choppy price action um, exists in that summer session as a general rule now one thing we never want to forget is as long as we're up here challenging new high areas we still have the propensity for very big whipsaw type price action so don't allow yourself to be lulled to sleep when we have this slow grinding action that occurs because one event can trigger a very quick move so we want to stay on our toes and be very very cognizant of where we are in the market as we move forward into potentially a slow and choppy summer um Futures were slightly negative most of the night, and at the at this very moment, they're climbing up toward flat, like nothing going on. Very, very laid back. Very, you know, not much happening. Um, so it's going to be one of those mornings where we don't want to be in any kind of a rush to jump into a trade. We want to watch and be cognizant of, of, of the price action around the open. Don't chase in, just watch closely. And if the market starts making a move, we'll see it and we can respond to it. As long as we don't do it with an emotional, um, with that emotional pent up energy that gets built up in the, in the morning, you know, just all of the drama surrounding news and events and things like that, that, that occur. So be, uh, just move slowly today is my suggestion. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY moved down yesterday and sat right on top, filled the gap and sat right on top of this little support area. And I call this a box. And clearly we're maintaining, we're chopping inside this box. Um, not bullish, not bearish, just grinding sideways, which makes it very difficult to trade. If you're finding that everything that worked before or had been working before, it's kind of stopped working. That's a good reason to uh, reevaluate the market. Good reason to slow down your trading. And that's exactly what I've done. I've slowed down my trading. I've pulled back. I'm taking smaller positions while this market kind of grinds around until we get some kind of a direction. On the economic calendar today, we have jobless claims at 8.30 a.m. Eastern coming out. We have a Fed speaker at 10 o'clock. And then after that, there's just a, a bunch of, you know, non-significant reports like uh, bond announcements and, and uh, things like that. So not much in the news today. On the earnings calendar today, we have um, 27 companies reporting. <clears throat> Actually, that, that's changed now to 28 companies reporting. 28 companies reporting. And, um, you know, kind of going through and scanning these, there's nothing of major significance except, you know, I know a lot of a lot of the members were have been looking at um, um, a couple of different companies uh, that are in this list, um, like um, 
Carnival Cruise, you know, has had a nice chart. Um, things like that. So make sure, make sure you're paying attention to the companies that are reporting, that you're kind of staying on top of that. And um, you are being vigilant to make sure you're not caught by an earnings report um, unaware. So check those earnings reports. We don't want to be buying something that's just ready to report earnings because we can easily get caught in a major move that we weren't expecting. And we also want to be aware of them just because if we're holding a company like that in our portfolio, then we can prepare for that um, by either getting out of the way, um, exiting the trade, getting out of the way, or um, potentially hedging it or something with an option position. So we want to be really cognizant of, of what we are doing around earnings. Okay, <clears throat> let's see what else we've got. IWM. IWM kind of made a decision yesterday. Pulling back, uh, this is now a lower high. We, we attempted to break out. Got up here. Tried to make this work up here. Oop, that yellow is not working for me. Um, tried to tried to hold this this price level right here. Um, fell back down, rallied back to test it again, and now we've created a lower high. And a new lower low. Now it's only a slightly lower low that was created there, but technically. <clears throat> we have the beginnings in IWM of a downtrend, and we have to recognize that anytime we're, we're looking at trades here. Um, IWM hasn't really participated much in the overall market. You can see that it hasn't hampered the other markets from going up. So it may not be a, uh, you know an issue, but if IWM really starts to slide lower, and you can see it's moving slightly lower this morning, if it really starts to slide lower, um, it could put a weight around the neck of the mar market and kind of prevent it from um, trying to rebound. We'll see. We could also bounce right here in this area. Come down in here, touch in here, and bounce right off of it. So watch that carefully. Q's, on the other hand, um, with the earnings, the, the positive earnings from Adobe and Red Hat and, and companies like that, they um, actually managed to close positive yesterday. But let's keep in mind that we're still <clears throat> underneath a very m important resistance zone. And anything up in here should be watched closely for the potential of a failure pattern. If the price moves up in here and we get a pattern of failure, then we would be concerned about this turning lower. Okay, so um, stay on top of it. And one thing that I want to continue to point to is a balance of power is continuing to show distribution in these in this index. So watch closely. Don't rush in. The last thing we want to do is rush in and buy a stock that could be right at resistance. Okay. All right, everyone. <clears throat> I hope you all have a fantastic day. Right Way Options members, we will be um, back to normal today in our own room. Everything should be good to go. And um, I would like to uh, thank everyone for your patience yesterday when we had, oh, while Rick was gone, we had to do some shifting around. I do appreciate you being patient with that. Um, if this is the first time you're watching this information, please do me a favor. Click that like button on Facebook and that follow button. Um, also on, on YouTube, click that subscribe button so you can get this information or notified when this in information comes out daily. Um, with that, everyone have a great day. I wish you all fantastic profits. I'll talk to you all soon.